Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this crochet tote bag with this flower pattern. It's so pretty and it makes the bag super thick. You can fit a lot of stuff in this. Um, I can even fit my MacBook Air inside. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you guys the materials you need to make this tote bag. So to make this bag, I'll be using the tubular yarn by Loops and Threads and I'll be using approximately 450 grams. I suggest using a yarn that's pretty elastic, but if you don't have that, it's totally fine to use a yarn that isn't elastic. You're also going to need a 6mm hook or a hook size that matches the yarn you're going to use, some scissors, a darning needle, and stitch markers. To start, we're going to make a slip knot, so roll your yarn on your two fingers, making an X shape. Insert your hook underneath here and grab the yarn here. Take off your fingers and pull. Then we're going to chain 33, so yarn over and pull through. That's one chain. Yarn over, pull through, that's two chains. We're going to go ahead and put a stitch marker on the front loop here, on the second chain. Just like this. Yarn over, pull through, that's three chains, four, five so do this until you have 33 chains on your hook so when you're done chaining 33 we're going to put another stitch marker in the second chain from our hook so the loop on your hook does not count as a chain so skip this chain and put a stitch marker on the front loop of the second chain from the hook just like this so now we're going to start row one so now we're going to make 31 single crochets. We're going to skip the first chain and insert our hook in the second chain from the hook. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one single crochet. Since this is our first stitch from our row, we're going to put a stitch marker there. So we know that this is where our row starts. So that's one single crochet. We have 30 more to go. So insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert your hook in the back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Once you're done making 31 single crochets, you should be left off with one chain at the end. In that last chain, we're going to put three single crochets. So we're going to make three single crochets in the same chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to come and put a stitch marker here. So this is going to help us further on. So that's one single crochet. That's two single crochets in the same chain. And one more. So here we have three single crochets in the same chain and we're also going to put a stitch marker in this third chain like this now we can take off this stitch marker so this was here to help us know that this is where we have to continue our single crochets so we can now take this off and make 30 single crochets So make 30 single crochets. When you're done doing 30 single crochets, you should have reached your stitch marker here. So we're going to take this blue stitch marker off and make an increase. So we're going to make two single crochets in that last chain. So take it off and make two single crochets in the same chain. One, we're going to put the stitch marker back there and two. So now we have two single crochets in the same chain. 
and you should really put the stitch markers where I put them. This is really going to help you out in the future. To start row 2, we're going to take off this stitch marker, which is in our first stitch. And we're going to insert our hook in that first stitch and make a slip stitch. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. You're then going to chain 1. And to start row 2, we're going to start by making an increase in the first stitch. Insert your hook and do two single crochets in that first stitch. And you're going to put a stitch marker in the second. But just remember that the first stitch of the row is not where the stitch marker is, it's the one before. Now that that's done, we're going to make 30 single crochets. So insert your hook through both loops and make a single crochet. So when you're done doing 30 single crochets, we've now reached our stitch marker here. So to continue, we're going to take off this stitch marker and make an increase. We're going to make two single crochets in this next stitch. Insert your hook and make a single crochet and put back the stitch marker there. And we're going to make a second single crochet in the same stitch. Like this. Now on this next stitch, we're just going to make a normal single crochet without increasing. And then on this next stitch where there's a stitch marker, we're going to increase again. So we're going to make two single crochets in the same stitch. So take that stitch marker off and make two single crochets in the same stitch. And put back the stitch marker. And now we can continue by making 30 single crochets. So when you're done with your 30 single crochets, we've reached our other stitch marker here. We're going to take it off and make an increase there. So two single crochets in the same stitch and put back the stitch marker there and make another single crochet in the same stitch. And now on this last stitch, we're just going to make a normal single crochet. To end row 2, we're going to make a slip stitch in our first stitch. And as you remember, the first stitch isn't the one that has the stitch marker, it's the one before. So this was our previous slip stitch and this is the previous chain 1, so we have to skip these two. And this was our first stitch of the row. Yarn over and pull through, making a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain 1. On the third row, we're going to increase in the two first stitches. So we're going to make two single crochets in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch. One and two. And then we can take off this stitch marker and do two single crochets in the same stitch. You can put back the stitch marker and now we're going to make again 30 single crochets. When you're done with your 30 single crochets, that means that we've reached a stitch marker. So if we focus on the stitches that we have here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 stitches. We're going to increase in the first stitch, in the second stitch. Then we're going to make a regular single crochet in the third one. Then we're going to increase on the fourth one and on the fifth one. So take off your stitch marker and make an increase. Then just put back your stitch marker. 
and make a second single crochet in the same stitch so that's our first increase then we're going to do the same thing on the next stitch we're going to put two single crochets in the same stitch then on this third stitch we're just going to make a single crochet and then we're going to increase in the two remaining stitches so two single crochets in the fourth stitch Oops. so that's two and an increase in this fifth stitch too and put back your stitch marker and now we can go back and do 30 single crochets when you're done doing your 30 single crochets we're going to take off this stitch marker we're going to make an increase on the first stitch here where the stitch marker is we're going to increase in the stitch after that and then on the last stitch we're just going to make a regular single crochet so take off the stitch marker insert your hook and make an increase you can put back the stitch marker in the first stitch of the increase then we're going to make another increase in the next stitch so two single crochets in the same stitch and in the last stitch we're just going to make a normal single crochet so to end off row three we're going to make a slip stitch in our first stitch and if you remember we made uh, two increases at the beginning of the row so there's four stitches one two three and four so this is where we have to slip stitch in so we're going to make a slip stitch on this stitch here yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook then we're going to chain one so now we're done increasing the fourth row is just a row of single crochets so we're going to make a total of 78 single crochets so we can go ahead and make 78 single crochets and after your first stitch here, you should put a stitch marker there to know that this is our first stitch. And we can take off the remaining stitch markers that are just sitting there. So just make 78 single crochets all around your work. So I'm just going to take these off because I don't need them anymore. And I'm just going to continue making single crochets all around. So when you're done with your 78 single crochet, you should put a stitch marker in that last stitch. And make sure you do have 78 single crochets because this next step is not going to work if you don't have the right amount of stitches. So to end off row 4, we're going to take off our first stitch marker and make a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain 1. So to start you have to insert your hook in your first stitch yarn over pull through and pull some yarn pretty loosely like this you're going to yarn over and insert your hook back in the same stitch and pull up another loop so right now you have four loops on your hook then the next step is that you're going to skip two stitches so skip this stitch and this stitch and insert your hook in the third one here yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook back in the same stitch and yarn over pull through then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook chain one 
and we're not done this is the hardest part but once you get the hang of it it's really easy so you're going to yarn over and then remember we skipped two stitches so we're going to pass our hook through the hole here so i passed so again you yarn over and then you insert your hook in the hole like this and then you're gonna push your hook through the first stitch that we skipped so here you're gonna push your hook through there so watch my hook very closely you push it in like this i'll restart again so you understand well you yarn over and then you pass your hook through this hole and here you have two stitches we're going to push our hook through the first stitch that we skipped so this is what it looks like if you turn your work then you're going to yarn over and pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we're gonna do that another time because we skipped two stitches so you yarn over you pass your hook through the hole like this and you're going to insert your hook in the second stitch that we skipped so push it over like this yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we can now move on to the next one and now we're going to insert our hook in the same stitch that we made this petal in so insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over pull through pretty loosely yarn over insert your hook again in the same stitch yarn over pull through now we're going to skip two stitches so one two and insert our hook in the third one yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook in the same hole yarn over pull through then we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook and chain one now we're going to yarn over and pass our hook through the hole here like this and we skipped two stitches so we're going to insert our hook in the first stitch that we that we skipped so insert your hook there you're going to yarn over and pull through you have now three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're gonna do that another time since we skipped two stitches yarn over pass your hook through the hole here and then push your hook in the second stitch that we skipped yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so we're going to continue that again so we're going to insert our hook in the same stitch that we have this petal in yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through we're gonna skip two stitches one two and insert our hook in the third one yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through now we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one now we're going to yarn over insert your hook in the hole between the two petals then you're going to insert your hook in the stitch that we skipped in the first one yarn over pull through we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through the two remaining loops and we're gonna do that another time because we skipped two stitches 
to yarn over, insert your hook and then push your hook through the second stitch that we skipped. So here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is what it currently looks like. I'm going to show you again. Insert your hook in the same stitch that this last petal is in. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, skip two stitches and insert your hook in the third one here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on our hook and chain one. Then we're going to yarn over, insert our hook in the hole here and push our hook through the first stitch that we skipped. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Since we skipped two stitches, we're going to do that one last time. Insert your hook in the hole here and push your hook through this second stitch that we skipped. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to repeat these steps all around the base of the bag. So you can go ahead and repeat that and uh, don't abandon. I swear when you get used to the stitch, it works up pretty fast. Uh, you just have to get the hang of it. So when I reach around the end over here, I'm going to show you guys how to end the row and start a new one. So keep doing the steps I just showed you and I'll see you guys when I reach the end. Here I'm almost at the end of my row. So I'm just going to continue. So here we have one last petal to make. You can see that here we have two stitches left. We're going to insert our hook in this petal here and do as usual. We're then going to skip these two stitches. So next we have to insert our hook in the first stitch of the row, which was where our first petal was in this little hole. So you can take off the stitch marker and put your hook through here yarn over and pull through yarn over and put your hook through the same hole and yarn over pull through like this and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one and we're going to do again the same thing so we're going to yarn over, insert our hook in the hole and pass our hook through uh, the first stitch that we skipped. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, same thing on the other stitch. So that was the last petal of the row. To end off this row, we're going to have to slip stitch in the middle of the flower. So these two are two petals and in the middle there is a little hole. So if you look, if we go to the next flower, there's a little hole between the two petals. So we're going to insert our hook in the hole there yarn over pull through and pull through doing a slip stitch now we're going to chain one to make another row so this next row is the row that you're going to repeat over and over again until you have the desired height for your bag so you're going to insert your hook again in the middle part here yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook in the hole 
yarn over and pull through. Then you're going to insert your hook in the other middle part of the other petal, right here. In the middle, yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the middle again, yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and chain one. And then this part is going to be a little different, so you're going to yarn over, insert your hook through the hole, and if you push your work, you can see that you have multiple holes, so you're going to insert your hook in this first hole, and then for the second one, it's going to be this hole here. So, after you yarn over, you insert your hook through both petals, and then you're going to push your hook through this hole here, you're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we're going to do that again, yarn over, insert your hook through both petals, and you're going to push your hook through the other remaining hole here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you want, you can take your stitch marker and put it in the middle here because that's where we're going to end the row. Now we can just repeat these steps. So insert your hook in the middle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook again, yarn over and pull through. And then you're going to insert your hook in the next hole here, yarn over, pull through yarn over, insert your hook again, and yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook, chain one, and again, yarn over, insert your hook through both petals, then you have one hole here, and, and then you have another hole just here. Push your hook through the first hole, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert your hook through both petals, and then push your hook through the remaining hole here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you can see that it formed our first flower. So we made one row of petals, and now we started the second row of petals. And I'm going to be making a total of 12 rows. Of course, you can make more or less depending on the height of the bag that you want. So we're on row two and I'm going to make a total of 12 rows. So I'm going to show you again. You have the middle part here that you're going to insert your hook in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, push your hook through again. Yarn over, pull through. And then we're going to go and insert our hook again in the middle part here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook in the same hole, yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain one. Yarn over and insert your hook through both petals and push your hook through the first hole here, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert your hook through both petals and, and push your hook through the other hole, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to show you guys one last time. Insert your hook through the middle part, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Again in the other middle part, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Then you're going to yarn over and pass your hook through all of the loops, 
chain one yarn over insert your hook through both petals and push your hook through the first hole here yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over insert your hook through both petals and push your hook through in the hole So just repeat these steps and I'll see you guys when I'm almost done with my row to show you how to end off a row and start a new one again. So here we have our last petal to make. So you're just going to insert your hook in the middle as per usual. And then you can take off your stitch marker and put your hook through the middle too here. yarn over and pull through all the loops chain one then yarn over and just do as per usual so when you're done with your last stitch you're going to go ahead and insert your hook in the top of this petal so in the middle of this petal right here like you can see that it makes sense to insert your hook in this petal because it's a little higher here so you see that there's like a little gap here so you have to insert your hook here to flatten this little gap so insert your hook there yarn over pull through and pull through making a slip stitch then you're going to chain one and then you're, to continue, you're just simply going to, again, insert your hook in the middle. And you're just going to go around like this over and over again. And then we're going to go and find the other middle part here. So maybe this is going to help you out. You can put a stitch marker here because this is where you're going to do your last petal from the third row. And you're going to put a stitch marker here because here is where you're going to do the slip stitch in. Maybe that's going to help you out to know, to know where to end off your row. So... So we go and find the middle part and then the other middle part just continue like this all around I'm going to show you one last time how to end off a row and start a new one. Here I'm about to finish row 3, so I'm going to insert my hook in this little hole and then in this hole where the stitch marker is. So I can take off my stitch marker. And then when you're done with the last stitch of the row, you're going to make a slip stitch where that blue stitch marker is. So insert your hook in there. Yarn over, pull through, and chain one. So from now on, um, I think you guys 
cut the hang of it so we're going to make so i'm just gonna start this row and i'll see you guys when i'm done doing all of my rows so you insert your hook in the middle here and in the other middle part here then yarn over pull through all of them chain one and and just continue this so if that last trick helped you you can put a stitch marker in here and also a stitch marker here so this is where you're going to place your last petal and then you're going to slip stitch in where that blue stitch marker is so just continue this and make as many rows as you want um to have a full flower like this you have to make an even number of rows so i'm going to do my last stitch So then when you're done with your last stitch, you're going to want to make a slip stitch to join the row. And then you're going to chain one. So now we're done with the rows with the petals. So as you can see, the bag is has a lot of little bumps. So we're going to add one row to make the bag flatter. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So we're going to put one stitch in the little hole here between the two uh, petals. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and just yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. You can put a stitch marker there to know that this is your first stitch. Then the next stitch is going to go in this little stitch here. So put your hook through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. The next one is going to go in the little hole here between the two petals. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through yarn over pull through all the loops then the next stitch is going to go in this little stitch here if you have trouble finding it you can just do a straight line from the middle like this Oop, and it's the one in the top so the next one goes in the hole here between the two petals And then it goes in the stitch that's in between here, so this stitch. So you can go ahead and do that all the way around, and I'll see you guys when I reach my stitch marker. Here I have one last stitch to make. Now instead of slip stitching, we're going to do something else that creates a cleaner look. So pull a bit of yarn like this and cut it. Now take a needle, pass your yarn through. So the next step, you can take off your stitch marker from your first stitch and pass your needle through that first stitch like this. And then pass your needle through the back loop of your last stitch here as you can see creates a fake stitch and a very clean and seamless look you can't even tell that 
we ended our row in the middle here. You can later on make a knot and weave it in inside of your bag. So now we're going to have to make the last step, which is making the strap. So what we're going to do is take our work and look at it from above. And as you can see in the side here, you have a stitch that's perfectly in the middle. And same thing on the other side, a stitch that's perfectly in the middle. So what we're going to do is that we're going to calculate four stitches after the one that's in the middle. So don't count this one and count four stitches on this side and four stitches on this side. And we're going to have a total of nine stitches. So skip the one in the middle. One, two, three, four. Put a stitch marker there. Same thing on the other side. Skip this one. One, two, three, and four. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Skip the one in the middle. One, two, three, and four here. Skip the one in the middle. One, two, three, four. So now I usually start on this side, but you can start on the other side if you want. And I insert my hook in the middle stitch. So insert your hook in there and then pull some yarn. After you pull some yarn, you yarn over, insert your hook again in the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. And you're going to go ahead and put a stitch marker there to know that this is your first stitch. So just continue making this until you reach your next stitch marker. So I've reached my other stitch marker. I'm going to take it off and do one last stitch here. When that's done, we're going to start chaining. So I'm going to chain 65 to make my strap. You can either make more chains or less chains depending on how long you want your straps to be. But I'm going to be chaining 65. So just yarn over and pull through. And put a stitch marker in the back bar of your first and last chain. So this is the front of the chain and put the stitch marker in the back bar of that chain. This is going to help you out in the future. So that's one chain. I'm just going to chain 65. So here I'm done chaining 65. You're going to want to put a stitch marker on your last chain in the back bar. So it's here for me. And then the next step is going to be joining all of these chains to the other side and it's going to be in the next stitch marker that you have which is here so you're going to insert your hook there you can take off the stitch marker so after you insert your hook in there you can yarn over and pull through then you're going to yarn over insert your hook back again yarn over pull through and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook then you're going to continue making this stitch until you reach the other stitch marker so here i've reached my other stitch marker i'm going to take it off and do one last stitch in there. When you're done with your last stitch, you're going to chain the same amount of chains you've chained on the other side. So I'm going to chain one. And before I continue, I'm going to put a stitch marker in the back bar of that chain. And then I'm just going to continue chaining. So I'm done chaining 65 and I put a stitch marker on the back bar of my last chain. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook in the next stitch marker in here. I can take off the stitch marker and then yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through all the loops on your hook. So continue this 
until you reach the next stitch marker and this is our last stitch so now we've reached our first stitch of the row so we're gonna take it off and make a slip stitch in there so make a slip stitch to join chain one and now we're going to make five slip stitches so insert your hook yarn over pull through and pull through again put a stitch marker in this first stitch then you can slip stitch again two three four and five and then when you're done doing your five slip stitches we're going to work on the back bars of the chains right now i'm working with a six millimeter hook i'm going to down my hook size by one millimeter so i'm going to be using a five millimeter to make the strap so the back bars tend to be a bit tighter so that's why i'm sizing down so the hook can enter the back bar a lot more easily than the six millimeter but if you only have one hook that's totally fine you can still do it with the same hook it's just going to be a little tighter so you're gonna take off your stitch marker and insert your hook in that first back bar you're going to yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook again in the same back bar yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook and you're gonna do that for all of your chains so insert your hook in the next back bar yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook in the back bar yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook again next back bar insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook so do this for all of your chains and i'll see you guys when i'm done with this first strap so here i'm done doing all of my stitches well I have one last to make and that's why we put the stitch marker so we don't forget any stitches so once you're done with all of your stitches you're gonna want to switch over to your regular hook and make nine slip stitches so one two three four eight and nine now we can switch again to our five millimeter hook and repeat the same thing that we've done on the other strap so take off your first stitch marker insert your hook in the back bar yarn over insert your hook in the same back bar yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all the loops on your hook then insert your hook in the next back bar and do the same thing so do this all over your second strap so here i'm done with my last stitch so i'm going to switch over to my regular hook and i'm going to make four slip stitches so one two three and four so this stitch was our slip stitch and this was the chain one so we're not gonna crochet in those we're just going to pull some yarn and do as we did before to join the row so you're gonna pull some yarn and then you can take off this stitch marker take your needle and pass it through the first stitch of the row and then you're gonna pass it through the back loop of your last slip stitch like this 
and we are now done with our bag now you can just go ahead and weave in all of your little ends so here we have the final result i hope you guys enjoyed making this tote bag if you ever make this please tag me on instagram i would love to see it thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next time bye